Good morning, Tisha Fierce. Wow. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're in the office early this morning because we have a FaceTime interview with a Tokyo talk show. So I'm gonna vlog that real quick, and then I'm gonna head downstairs, get changed, and we're gonna be going on patrol today. Hold on, let me see if I can get, if I can get my earphones in because I can't really hear you too well. Just finished the interview. We're officially international. All right, time to go head down to uh, get dressed so we can head out to patrol. I don't know, whenever I get in this elevator, I always want to go, I've been watching you. Man, I saw how much you met your days, it's horrible. What was it? <laughs> I saw Metro Day's, um, what's it, The Running Man? Yeah. It's too long. Yeah. And it drains your battery by the time yeah, you're done I, watching I, it. I was done, I was, I, it was dinner time. <laughs> I hope no one's changing. Alright guys, gonna get changed and then it's off the patrol. We're here at the South Station waiting on the officer to come pick me up. Uh, we're going to be on patrol today, and we'll be patrolling the Philagami area, that's in our south district. Hi everyone. How you doing? I am doing so wonderful. It's good to see you. It's great having you here with me today. You guys might know Officer Lassa from the Running Man Challenge. Hi everyone. She had to do, she had to bring it uh, Miami style, right? That's right. I had to represent. Miami style, you have to represent. Okay, so today, uh, we're gonna go hit the streets. That's right. We're Let's do go. it. This is a, a totally different fun. Yes. Okay? Uh, this is gonna be part of what I do every day. Uh, the dancing, it's just a challenge. It's just a, a fun time, but this is actually what I do every day. All right, so let's go. All right, so Oscar Lassera, on your shift, you have some downtime. What kind of proactive work do you like to do? Um, one of the things I love to do is traffic. One example is running the stop signs. So running, so you look for people running stop signs? Correct. Why is that a big deal? Uh, running a stop sign, uh, it's red for a reason. Okay. It's like running the red light. There's a lot of pedestrians in the city of Miami. Okay. And uh, a lot of elderly people too, that they, they either walk uh, to the supermarket or to the pharmacy. And of course, uh, drivers need to be very aware when they run the stop sign. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow it's down. okay to be late to work. Tell your boss we said it's okay. okay Alright, so we're in the area of a call that just went out. It was a theft of beer. So we're gonna go by and uh, help out the officer that's responding. Very common here. Really? We have a lot of gas stations. Uh, so that's that's usually what they do at this time. Uh, it's theft of beer. It's only one in the afternoon. Theft of beer. All right, we're arrival at the call. Go make contact. So in this in this area is typically Hispanic descent. It's typically Hispanic. So yes. most of your calls, do you need to know Spanish, or like they speak the, the uh, language? Most of them, I would say ninety-five percent. Okay. So, so I would good. say yeah. It's good to know Spanish. Yeah. So, but what if what if an officer doesn't know Spanish? What happens? Well, another officer will help him translate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. But here in the city of Miami, all the officers are kind of versed a little bit. They yeah. they learn one way or another, they right? They learn one way or another. Exactly. Yes. All right, yes. let's go. Um, the description of the offender, and in this case, it will be easier. Okay. All right. So this gentleman's wearing uh, dark clothes. It appears to be like all blue. There he goes. He puts the items in his bag there. Two. That's it. PSA Franco has dealt with this gentleman before, correct? Not dealt with, but with. Okay. And okay. you actually have a picture of him. 
Yeah. Uh huh. So he's known to do this kind of stuff. Yes. You want to steal beers? All right. So what's gonna happen now is we got the information for the offender. We also have officers that are around the area patrolling. So we will put out a bolo and let the officers know the description that we just saw in the video so they can be on the lookout for it. You said the employee got them outside the store? Uh, the employee waited uh, until the offender uh, exited the store uh, because that's what the law says. You have to uh, pass all the cash registers in uh, in order to be a theft. Yep. Um, he ran outside the, uh, the store where the security officer from the store uh, attempted to stop him, did stop the offender, at which time took uh, all the belonging the properties from the store uh, into custody and uh, the offender uh, got a little bit aggressive. Somebody's life is uh, it's not worth putting in danger like that. So we always advise if he gets like that, let him go, uh, property doesn't take over life. Yep. We got a hunch that he wasn't successful here. There's another uh, store down the road that we're gonna go, we're gonna go check out just to see if maybe he's over there we know the description we know what he looks like matter of fact we have his name so just to see if we can get him and uh, pick him up so you guys busted the guy last week that was about or two weeks, weeks ago, ago. Yeah. All right. So he knows. He knows the guy. <laughs> You're the girl, man. I love that guy's videos. Hey, thanks. All right. Take care, my friend. Later. Good seeing you. So you don't only know so, how to do salsa, huh? Not only salsa. Police work too. I know how to fight crime too. All right. What happened? Our duty is to answer calls for service. Mm -hmm. Of course, we do as much as we can in, uh, in an specific call. Um, we couldn't find the offender at this point, so we have a bolo, uh, we have a picture, just in case it comes, you know, in our way. Yeah, he's known uh, to be in the he's area. He's known yeah. in the area, and the officers could have a, uh, you know, a, a, a description of this offender. So got bad news guys officer Lastra has court bye guys it was a pleasure riding with you Nick okay as always and you're gonna give us an update uh, we didn't get that guy but we're gonna get no. him but you're gonna give us an update right yes when you will. get him when I get him you send us a message and I'll you, put it on the vlog definitely I'll give you an update all right and that's gonna be very soon that's because <laughs> the investigation like you saw it's we're hot fast. in this trail we're hot in this trail it's very fast okay so I'll let you know soon okay bye, bye guys all right guys back at the station I'm gonna wait on an afternoon shift officer to come uh, he should be in route come pick me up jump in with him I'm gonna go on and uh, we'll continue but while we're at the station you guys have been asking about some of the vehicles that we have in our fleet that we drive around on patrol and I can give you some while we're here I'll show you some of the vehicles we drive around on patrol all right, so in 2013, we, we went to the Ford Tauruses. This is a 2013 here. We also have 14s, 15s, and um, some 16s in our fleet. So this is the Ford Taurus. This is one of the cars that we, we drive on patrol. It uh, has the police package. You see the push bars in the front and the Wayland light system. So in 2008, um, we purchased some Chevy Impalas. This is a 2008 Chevy Impala. These are in our fleet as well. And finally, we have the Ford Crown Vix. This guy right here. Who's coming here? What's going on, Officer Rodriguez? You mind if I uh, jump in? Let's do it! I was with Officer Laster. Okay. All right, uh, she had to go to court and um, her shift was over. Do you know uh, Officer Lester? <laughs> what? Come on. What? Come on. Do you know Officer Lester? That's my mom. That's your mom? That's my mom. What? <laughs> so that's your mom? That's, mom that's your mom for real? That's my mom right there. Hey, your mom could dance, bro. Oh, she could dance, yeah. Yeah. I wish I had those skills. 
I know you have salsa skills. Nah. You don't have salsa skills? Nah. No salsa. Come on, I've seen videos of you having salsa skills. Nah, no, no, no salsa skills. Let's review the tape. Oh. Shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Oh, no, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so what um, shift do you work? I work the uh, B shift, the afternoon. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go. Uh, All right, Officer Rodriguez just took a call. It's um, the reference is a white lad male laying down on the street. We're gonna head to the area and look for a subject laying on the ground. See what's up. All right, we arrive on the scene and we uh, have an eyeball on the subject. He's down there laying on the the sidewalk. So let's see. Uh, Let's see what's going on with him. Uh, pretty much what just happened is um, he was just laying on the street. He didn't feel too well. Uh, Rester came by, checked him out. Uh, he's doing all right. He's just waiting for him. Okay. Um, so the fire rescue came already? Yeah, he said fire rescue came, checked him out already. Okay. So uh, he, he said he didn't need any further assistance or anything? No, he said he didn't need anything else. He was going to be okay. Okay. On to the next. Kind of anticipated you coming, so your mom gave me something here. Who's that? Right there, right there. That's throwback there. <laughs> Alright, so what you got there, man? We got an officer uh, that's going to be checking out uh, two males and a female at the uh, rear of the, uh, the house. I'm going to go by help them out. Alright. Alright, so we got, some off we got an officer checking some uh, subjects out back here. All right, so the officer here is a part of the problem-solving team for the Little Havana area. Business owners call, uh, homeowners call, and there's the problems that keep reoccurring. The problem-solving team comes up with a strategy and tries to eliminate that issue. In this case, um, there's some store owners here, and they've been calling and asking and requesting that we come by and check and pretty much help them out um, removing the trespassers that come here. I mean, as you see, there's beer bottles everywhere. They come back here drinking. Other officers come back here and respond to fights. And um, a couple of these guys here today have been warned on previous occasions not to come back here. And they refuse to listen to um, the officers, so they're gonna be going to jail today. So, Officer Rodriguez. Yes, sir. You work this area? Yes, correct. And um, do you normally respond? To that location have you been there before yeah we go there numerous times um reference to there's always fights in the back uh, people uh, doing narcotics uh, drinking <laughs> uh, it's a place that we, we've gone numerous times i had fun <laughs> but it's getting dark it is and i turn into a pumpkin when it gets dark oh no that's not good no that's not good at all. all right so uh can you uh take me back it's been real awesome all right guys that's the end of our tour uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends we're doing new things on YouTube. And I'll see you next vlog. Adios. Adios. Guys, you gotta subscribe so you can see some more salsa dancing. <laughs>